frequent flyer. I'm on a lot of planes and I like to sleep on planes, especially when they're like 10 hours plus long. So I thought for this video, why not test out one of my favorite things to bring on a long haul flight, a travel pillow. So here we have five pillows. One of them is my usual travel pillow that I take with me on my travels. It's very normal looking. And four of them are very unique pillows. They're very different. I bought them on Amazon and we're gonna try them out. So we have a ostrich pillow, two inflatable pillows, and a side pillow. And I figured the best way to test these out would be to take them on a plane because that's when you're actually gonna use them. And if you wanna know what pillow I use normally, I tested that out too. All right, well, <laughs> this is I feel like the one I'm looking forward to trying the most. Not only is it the biggest, pillow by far. I feel like this just doesn't really compact. It's also the most expensive that we purchased. It was like a hundred dollars? I think a hundred and twenty dollars. hundred and twenty dollars. Yep, slide it all the way down. I feel like my hair is going to be an absolute disaster. <laughs> is it just my mouth? So yeah. I'm not supposed to be able to see? No, because it, it also it? acts as, uh, as an eye cover to make it dark. Oh. I think it's because you're supposed to sleep. And then you put your arms in here. I feel like I look like a Teletubby on the plane. No, pull it down that I further. want to see. I don't like not being able to see. You look like a hammerhead shark. Your prediction was correct. <laughs> the texture. Quite nice. It's like bean baggy. It feels like a bean bag chair. So it's like it feels really soft. The color scheme is nice, nice and gray. That's honestly about it. I thought I would like it slightly more, but like I don't like sleeping like this. Okay, I was pretty excited to try this one too. Oh my god, it's so tall. <laughs> do I look weird? Actually, I. I do like sleeping like that with my head down, but it's really not the most comfortable thing in the world. It's nice that you can still breathe with your face flat I mean, down. Breathing is pretty important. Uh, yeah, I do like breathing. But not only is it ridiculous looking, but it's your, also huge and just your like, hair is all messed up. And my hair. For me, okay, so it's pretty comfortable with my head down. I do like sleeping like that, and my arms in, but. It's just way too big and bulky to practically take this on your carry-on and carry it around. It's, I don't know. I think it's turtle. Easy, compact. Let's open up. Okay, there's instructions. Uh, okay, so we got jar shoulder here, neck here, jar shoulder, back of neck. This is really not comfortable. It's like, cause you have to have it like really tight or else it's like, like, yeah, like it slides off your neck. <laughs> and so if you have it super tight, then you're like half, then like this side of your neck, you're like choking yourself. Not comfortable at all. I feel like somebody drew a sketch and thought it would work and never tested it. I mean, when you tie it like really tight, kind of hold your neck up, but the problem is your neck still wants to go back. I feel like, oh, I had high hopes for this one because it was so small and compact. And I like small and compact, but... Yeah, I actually think it's pretty comfortable. Maybe because your neck's taller, or you're like longer. Actually, it's, it's kind of awkward, but it takes some of the pressure off your neck if you wrap it around like your jawline and up on your chin. Oh. And then it's not so tight on your neck. I never thought of that. You look like you're in like a neck brace. <laughs> yeah, it kind of feels like I'm in a neck brace. But my only issue with this one is like, I can't wear headphones with this. Nope, you can Because can't. this ear just, it wouldn't work with headphones. Nope. Whereas like a traditional just neck pillow, you can still use headphones with it. So, we have a inflatable armrest pillow. Pros so far is it's small, like that is you could probably even get it even more compact. So, bonus for um, travel. I 
I think it's supposed to imitate somebody's arm wrapping around you. Oh, it's kind of a weird arm placement. All right, I'm trying to figure out how this works. If you're someone who likes kind of like leaning, tilting your head to the side, this one's not bad. And it's really portable too. That's not bad. Right? It's not bad. Not bad. Yeah, actually it's a little bit better this way. Not fully inflated. I like it. All right, we got a second blow up neck pillow. Seems like. Also pretty compact. Cool. Whoa, this one's a big one. It's, it smells like an air mattress. Like a blow up air mattress. Oh, that's potent. This is quite the pillow. Um, all right, where do those instructions go again? Okay. Wait, is it cross arm, head in? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> It smells like air mattress. It's like a nice like break position, but I'm not gonna be like leaning forward for like a long period of time. So I feel like my back would get really sore. Let's see what part the other positions. I don't think this is right. What am I doing wrong? I don't think I still don't have it right. Again, I'm too short for this. I feel like if I had a longer torso, this would like yeah, I don't know. Right? It reeks like rubber. I know, it just smells like air. It smells so bad. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? It looks like it's getting you to rotate the whole thing. Right, but it doesn't, doesn't really work like that. Well, it doesn't really work anyway. No. No. All right, and then this one is the our current neck pillow, the one that we use for all of our flights mainly. Um, it's, we've had it for about a year now, and it is a very enjoyable, comfortable neck pillow. So a couple things. It's really squishy, so that's really nice. You got your form fitting. Um, these are some of the features I like about it the best, is that it clips in the front like that, and you can tighten it, so like it kind of forms like a little squishy pillow wedge on your neck, which is awesome. And also one of the things I really like about this pillow is that it has a very like thin back because when you're leaning up against like the back of your chair, you don't want there to be like too much pillow. And then it like pushes your neck forward. At least that's what I find. Yeah, I like the memory foam. It's quite comfortable. Um, feels good around the neck. The one thing is I'm not crazy about this buckle. Really? I love the buckle. It's, it's like spring loaded, but I find it's a little, like sometimes over time it just tightens up against my neck and then I'm like, <gasps> can't breathe. So I kind of wish it was just like a, a buckle that you could then like manually tighten and loosen so you could get it just perfect however you want it. But overall, I've been pretty happy with this. So in conclusion, I think it's safe to say that we're gonna be sticking with our regular style travel pillow. So thank you guys and gals so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a bit different style than I normally do, but if you want to see more travel product reviews, let me know down below in the comments and we could do more videos like this. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more travel advice and adventures. And I'll see you guys and gals again in a few days time with another video. Bye.